Hello, Septosauri. I'm Septa. I'm Sore, and this is us. And today we bring you more bandmade with their song Influencer. Yes. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and check out our very first bandmade video. We watched Thrill, which is one of their really old songs. So everybody wanted us to listen to a more recent one first so we can hear all the growth that has happened for them yep. in their musical talent and careers and things. So we are very excited to check this one out. And then the next time we'll check out the one that was recommended that's more ballady. Ooh, yeah. I am excited to see the growth because the other one was like eight years old, 10 yeah. years old or something like that. So, I, I mean, it's been a minute and they've, I'm sure, been growing a lot since then. So I'm curious. I also am. So we're going to jump into it, guys. They all have very interesting clothes. Yes, they do. One. Yeah, they look really cool. Oh, interesting. I thought it was going to be quicker for some reason. I like the, the hunky climb. dory day, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I like the climb too. PRS, good, idea. good choice. Good choice. Oh my god, the change Okay, they introduced They introduced rap, rap. Into it. Nice Get it I like her a lot I like how there's like a little vocal break and then let her bring it back. Mm -hmm. Okay. She has an interesting effect on that right now. Super catchy. Yeah, and they definitely grew a whole lot because it was just a lot more texture to it, just a lot more going on, mm -hmm. you know, instead of like the kind of generic rock metal riffage that was going on, you know, in the uh, in Thrill. They definitely have grown a whole lot. I liked this song quite a bit. Yeah, there were a lot more layers in this one. And I really liked the set that they had chosen yes, for this video. Yeah, it was so pretty. It was really pretty. I don't mm -hmm. know where that was, but it was gorgeous. And obviously they had a drone with them. So they got some really cool shots. 
Vocally, I thought it was very interesting that she did rap in this one. I wonder when they introduced that into it, because obviously that's a huge thing right now. Yes. Is having rap in basically anything and everything. If you want to be like a successful artist, you have to like have rap in there somehow or a rap-esque type thing. Yeah. You know? They like to throw it into everything. But I think she did a good job with it. Yes. I was not sure how that was going to go. I definitely prefer her vocalizing. I like that a lot on the Mm -hmm. hunky-dory day. I love the little climb and fall that she kept doing. It was really catchy. And you know that everybody at a concert is going to sing that. That was one of those things that I I was like, oh, yeah, that's going to stick with me. And I know it's going to stick with everybody else because it is super catchy. So they did a really good job writing that one. I also like how they gave like the bass a little bit of time to shine. And not only did they give the bass time to like do her thing, but then like cut back to vocals. And then they brought it back for a minute and let it go more. Usually like it's if you give the bass some time, it's like it's kind of a little segment and then it's like it's done. So he kind of likes the fact that they're like, yeah, we actually want to put some vocals here. And it's like, oh, OK. And it's like, but we're going to bring it back afterwards. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, And the guitar went in this solo part. I don't know, like what effects were on it, but it was so interesting sounding. No, I agree with that. And then I do like the fact that even all the way back in Thrill, they made the bass a focus. Mm. And they do keep the levels up so you can actually hear what's happening with the bass. Mm -hmm. They still do that. And I'm really glad because a lot of people tend to turn down the bass and you have to listen really hard for it. But they still keep her as a feature. And I like that. I just I love hearing the bass shine. And it has like she had a great tone in this, too. Mm -hmm. And it really rounded out the mix, which is why I get so sad when they turn down the bass, because it does round out a mix a whole lot. Having that at the at the bottom there. I'm curious why they're going the influencer way with like the lyrics. I wonder if they're just like annoyed by it. Oh, yeah. Which is like totally fair. But I definitely got old man yells at clouds type of vibe from it. It could be from the perspective of the fact that um, even in the music industry, they want you to be an influencer. In everything now. No matter what, you have to promote yourself kind of like as your own product. And maybe she's annoyed because she's been asked to do some things. I don't know for sure. I don't know. You guys can let us know in the comments if you know anything. But I wonder if maybe that's specifically why she wanted to write a song about it. Because... She has been asked to do these things and it doesn't feel sincere to her. I liked the wardrobing in this one a lot. Their their outfits were super cute, more majestic even. I liked like the the longer dresses and stuff that they were wearing. I'm sure in every video they're going to have like a completely different style. Evolving style. Yeah. And I like that. If you made it this far, please consider watching our other band made reaction to their song Thrill. Until next time. Please remember that we love you. Stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.